Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, guys, we are going to go over how to fight the Cubazoa Multis boss in Ark. So, yeah, guys, um, few things before we actually hop into the boss arena here. You will have to defeat the entire dungeon, of course, but um, that is hopefully something you'll be able to do. Uh, these are going to be boss tutorials, so let's go ahead and just focus on the boss for now, guys. Now, to fight the Cubazoa Multis, guys, there's a few things you're going to need. Um, first off, you're going to need some decent armor. So, currently, I am on a medium difficulty game. My helmets are about 774 with 1300 durability. Chest pieces are about 670 armor with 1000 dura. Uh, gloves, almost 700 and 700. Uh... Leggings, 800 and 1,000, and then uh, you'll actually be using a, you won't be using flak boots for this. You will want to put on instead either frog feet or you can use regular flippers as well. I happen to have the frog feet on me today, so that's what we'll be using in this dungeon. All right. Uh, now, before you go into the actual boss room, guys, I do want to make sure that you have enough weapons, so you are going to probably want to use an Ascendant Compound Bow, that is my favorite weapon to use against the Cubozoa Multis. This bow has 759 damage and 438 durability, very high damage, does really well in this particular boss fight. Now I have heard that people sometimes like to go in there and sword the jellyfish to death. That's not my preferred method because the jellyfish do a stun attack that um, can raise your torpor and knock you out, so it's a little bit risky. But if you are comfortable doing that, uh, you can also choose to use a sword or a pike if you want to get close to the jellyfish. Alright guys, now before you go in, please make sure you've eaten food, got that full. There we go. And you want to make sure you've also drunk some water because you cannot eat or drink in this particular arena because it is, in fact, an underwater arena. Okay, guys, I think we're all prepped. So we're going to go ahead and hop in right now. All right, so here is the Cubozoa Multis. Let's go ahead and pull out our bow. And uh, swimming in this arena is actually pretty easy, and you are going to be pretty quick here. Now, the jellyfish is actually a super, super fast boss, so you are going to have to be careful. You don't want to let him get too close, so I like to keep a good amount of distance here and aim a little high, because there is some drop on the arrows here. Alright, you just don't want to let him hit you, because he will stun you. It will freeze you in place, and it does raise your torpor, which is quite dangerous, because uh, they can kill you if they raise your torpor high enough and you get knocked out. Alright, that is almost enough arrows here. Alright, should be one more. There we go. Okay, so you see there, what happens when the Cubozoa um, gets hit enough times you basically get its health to zero and then it splits. So the Cubozoa Multis becomes its own minions, um, but each time it splits, it gets a little bit weaker, so it takes fewer arrows to kill each one. However, if you <laughs> were to kill every single one of the splits, you would end up with a total of like 16 jellyfish before you ended up leaving the arena. Um, and it can get to be quite a lot, so sometimes I like to take down, I like to get them to about this stage, and then start taking down um, just whatever one might be weakest, because they only take one shot to kill after a while if you have a good enough bow. And again, try to keep them at a good distance, otherwise you are going to get stun locked. There we go. Alright, so far so good. If you get too many, they can kind of spread out all over the arena and become uh, a bit of a crowd, which is not good either. So this is another reason to just kind of kite them around the edge of the arena. I like to stay up top so I don't run into the rocks, and it makes it easier to get the drop on the arrows right so that I don't miss my shots. Alright, we better move. I like to take no more than about two shots every time I pause. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they get really close, and then you can get stunned. All right. Ugh, that was really close. 
There we go. Get our distance back. Perfect. Alright, now they do split into random directions, so if they split around you um, and get you surrounded, you just want to make sure you swim past them really fast and uh, try to avoid try to avoid getting stuck between a few of them because that can be that can be super bad. Now, some of these have stopped splitting, so we are getting pretty close here, I think, to actually defeating this boss. Looks like they've all started kind of going in random directions here. Sometimes they will do this if you get down to the lowest sets of jellyfish. All right, and you see I'm already out of food, guys, so this is why I recommended eating right away. Because um, you can't eat in this arena. And you do run out of food in this arena really, really quickly every time. We came in here with full food, and we're leaving with almost nothing. Ooh, a little too much. Um, and if you get hungry enough, you will start to lose health. Uh, it can raise your torpor and stuff, so you do just want to be careful. We're going to get stunned there. That was really, really close. One of you? There we go. And last one is going to hurt a little. You see there we got stun locked. Now, luckily, there we go. We can still fire an arrow when you're stun locked, but when you're electrocuted, you can't actually move. And you can see there your torpor does rise. And you can't actually drink stimulants while you're underwater. So it is something to be careful of. You don't want to get electrocuted um, while you're in the middle of that fight. All right, guys, so that's it. Once you've killed the last of the weak little jellyfish, um, you are pretty much all set. That is that is the end of the boss fight, guys. And then you just uh, can either wait for the teleport or you can choose to teleport out. But pretty easy boss fight. Uh, the Cubozoa Multis is definitely one of my favorite bosses to fight. It's just a super, super neat boss, guys, and I really enjoy it. So don't be afraid of coming in here and fighting this guy. Um, he's not that difficult to beat if you come in with the right equipment. So guys, I do think that is going to do it for this particular tutorial. So if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.